The Triumphs and Tragedies of Rose O'Neill Greenhow. There were many tragedies during the Civil War, which included the murder of Rose O'Neill Greenhow's father by a slave. Rose then became determined to support the Confederate no matter what the situation, and later became known as the most notorious spy of the Civil War. The Tragedy of Rose O'Neill Greenhow's Father Rose O'Neill Greenhow was born into a wealthy family in 1813. Quote, Her father, John O'Neill, was murdered by one of his slaves in 1817. His widow, Eliza O'Neill, was left with four daughters and a cash-poor farm to manage. In part to help the family finances, Rose was sent in her mid-teens to Washington, D.C., along with her sister Ellen to live with their aunt, Maria Ann Hill. They met many people around the area of their new home, one of which included a boy who later ended up becoming her husband, Robert Greenhow. The Tragedy of Rose O'Neill Greenhow's Husband Greenhow and her family traveled to the United States together and decided to stop in California for a bit. After a short amount of time, Greenhow's husband died when he fell off one of the bad sidewalks in San Francisco, California. Quotes, the death of Robert Greenhow in 1854 left Rose financially stretched. Quotes. After facing yet another tragedy, Greenhow and her children decided to return back to their home in Washington, D.C. Greenhow stayed in the D.C. area and later, when the Civil War broke out. Quotes, Colonel Thomas Jordan and General Pierre G.T. Beauregard recruited her to lead a Confederate espionage ring. Quotes, The Triumph of Helping Win the Battle of Bull Run. The Battle of Bull Run, the first battle of the American Civil War, was when Rose O'Neill Greenhow wrote her most famous piece of spy work. The word went around town stating that a new force had assembled 25 miles west of Washington. So President Abraham Lincoln hosted a meeting for high-ranking state officials to decide what to do about this new force. Greenhow was completely against Lincoln in all of his beliefs, mainly because she was pro-slavery due to her father's death and the president wasn't. Greenhow wanted to stop the forces Lincoln set out to defeat General Pierre G.T. Beauregard and his troops. Greenhow heard the news that Lincoln sent out General Irvin McDowell with a team of a little over 30,000 men. Beauregard, with his team of 25,000 rebels, had taken position near a small stream called Bull Run. The main worry that General Irvin McDowell had was that a team of about 10,000 men were coming to reinforce Beauregard's team. If these 10,000 men could get to Beauregard in time, McDowell and his team would be in huge trouble. Quotes, she provided General Beauregard with information concerning the strength and route of Union forces headed towards Richmond under the command of Union General Irvin McDowell. The information allowed Beauregard to properly prepare for and secure a victory at the First Battle of Bull Run, Manhasses. Rose was later given credit for helping win the Battle of Bull Run from Confederate President Jefferson Davis. The Tragedy of Rose O'Neill Greenhow's Arrest After her success with helping win the Battle of Bull Run, officials became suspicious of Greenhow's actions. One man in particular, Alan Peterton, the head of the Federal Secret Service, was determined to see what her suspicious actions meant. Pinkerton found out about Greenhouse's secret messages and sentenced her to house arrest in her old Washington, D.C. home with guards included. According to NCpedia, quotes, This did not stop her, but only forced her to get more creative in her system of communication. She would adjust her house shades to represent dots and dashes of Morse code and use varying colors of yarns in her needlework to accomplish the same. In January 1862, Greenhow and her daughter were transferred to the Old Capitol Prison. During her time there, Greenhow still managed to relay messages to the South. Quotes, After many failed attempts of trying to stop Greenhow from sending letters, she was sent South. Greenhow was sent South. Greenhow was forced to live in the South after she was caught sending secret messages. She was immediately greeted as a hero the moment she arrived. 
quotes, in June 1862, the federal government tried her and sent her to the South where she was welcomed as a hero and awarded $2,500 by President Jefferson Davis, quote. He had a mission for her, quote. Jefferson Davis sent her to Great Britain and, and France in 1863 to raise support for the Confederacy. The Tragedy of Rose O'Neill Greenhouse Death Quote, on her return to America in 1864, she reached the coast of North Carolina where her ship ran aground. Greenhow insisted on going ashore in a small boat which took wa on water and sank. Wild Rose drowned, allegedly weighted down by a leather purse filled with gold sovereigns representing the royalties from her book. Her body washed ashore and she was buried with military honors in Oakdale Cemetery in Will Willington. Conclusion. Greenhow faced many triumphs and tragedies. She helped win the Battle of Bull Run. The South didn't end up winning, although the American Civil War would not have had the impact it did without her.